Hello everyone, this is Sedi and welcome to Sedi's Matters. For today's video, we will discuss special products, which is tutorial number eight. Without further ado, let's get started. Special products are basically products of polynomials which have special cases. These products commonly produce elegant looking polynomials. What are these elegant looking polynomials and what are its factors? Let's find out. So the first special product that we will discuss in this video is the square of a binomial. Fundamentally, it states that quantity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. For its subtraction form or the difference form, we have the square of quantity a minus b is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. One important note that we should consider here is that the sign between the two variables in this left-hand side is the sign of the first operation on its right-hand side, which is positive in this positive case, and for the subtraction case, we have negative. The 2AB is basically positive if this is positive, and the 2AB is negative if this is negative. Now, we will try to expand this expression, which is given. First, we recall the square of a binomial, quantity A plus B squared is equal to a squared plus, since this is positive, 2ab plus b squared. Now, as we can see here, our a is 4x. We can let a equals 4x and b equals 3. And all we have to do is to substitute 4x and 3 into this square of a binomial, which we know. So we have quantity 4x plus 3 squared is equal to 4x, quantity 4x squared plus 2 times a, which is 4x, and b, which is 3, plus b squared. So we have 3 squared. For our next step, we will try to simplify this expression. First, let using the loss of exponents, we can express this as 4 squared times x squared. Plus, we multiply all these constants, 2 times 4 times 3, so we have 24, multiply the x, so we have x, then plus 3 squared is 3 times 3, which means it is 9. Then this 4 squared, we can turn it into 16, since 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. And this is our expansion for 184x plus 3 squared. Always remember that we have to simplify it even though we have expanded it already. And we need to know that the basic loss of exponents so that we can distribute the exponents over the variables. So our final answer is 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. 
here is another problem regarding the square of a binomial. But this time, we're using the negative or difference case. So we expand 7x minus y squared. Remember that quantity a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Then we note that 7x, we let 7x equal to a and y equal to b. This gives us 7x minus y, but it is 7x minus y squared is equal to one is seven x squared minus two. A is seven x, so we multiply that seven x, and B is equal to y plus B, which is y squared. Simplifying, we get that this is seven squared times x squared minus, we multiply all the constants, 2 times 7 times 1, 14. Then the variables, x, y, plus y squared. Since there isn't a constant, we don't have to worry about distributing. So if we let it as y squared. Then this 7x squared, 7 times 7 is 49. So 7 squared is 49. And that is our final answer for this problem. 49x squared minus 14xy plus y squared. One good thing about special products is that we can easily do arithmetic knowing these rules. And one example is this problem. What is the value of 201 squared? Remember, we can let 201 squared be equal to 200 plus 1 squared. And this is where the square of a binomial comes into place. We know that quantity a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Then we can let a be 200 and b be 1. This gives us quantity 200 plus 1 squared equals 200 squared plus 2 times 200 times 1 plus b squared. So we have 1 squared. From here on, we will be multiplying with multiples or powers of 10, which is easier since we can just append the zero of the other factor to the other so, so we can get the product. For example, this 200 times 200. We can just copy the zeros of this one. So we have one, two, three, four zeros. Then we multiply the non-zero numbers. Two times two, four. So we have 40,000. Then we have here 2 times 200 times 1, which is 400, plus 1 squared, which is 1, giving us 40,000 plus 400 plus 1 equals 40,401. And this is how you apply square of a binomial in this problem.
So the second on our list is difference of two squares. It states that quantity A plus B multiplied by quantity A minus B equals A squared minus B squared. To recall this, we all ha only have to recall the name itself, difference of two squares. And the factors are just one with the positive sign and one with the negative sign between our two variables. Now, let us try problems related to this one. So our first problem is to simplify quantity 3a plus 2 multiply by quantity 3a minus 2. So to solve this problem, all we have to do is to directly apply the difference of two squares. So we just look at each of the term. Remember that they just have alternate signs, so they won't differ that much, except in some cases. We will square the first term. So we have quantity 3a squared. Then subtract it to the second term, minus 2 squared. Then we simplify this expression. So we have 3 squared times a squared minus 2 squared. Then let's simplify the constants with exponents. So we have 3 squared equals 9 and 2 squared equals 4. And this is our answer for this problem. 9a squared minus 4. Let's try some more problems. Now, we will apply the difference of two squares in a different manner. In arithmetic. So our given here is 303 times 297. It seems kind of hectic to solve at first since you're multiplying three-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. So all we have to do is to use our difference of two squares and make things simple. 303 is 300 plus 3. And 297 is 300 minus 3. These expressions ring a bell and this urges us to use the difference of two squares. So we have quantity 300 plus 3 multiplied with quantity 300 minus 3. So we have 300 squared minus 3 squared, which is equal to 300 times 300, four zeros, four trailing zeros rather. 3 times 3 is 9, so we have 9,000 minus 3 squared. 3 times 3, which is 9. And simplifying, finally, we have 89,991 as our answer. And this is how you use a special product concept in arithmetic. The third set of special product rules that we will discuss here is the sum and difference of two cubes. So we have quantity a plus b multiplied by quantity a squared minus ab plus b squared is equal to a cubed plus b cubed. When it is in the difference form, we have a minus b multiplied by quantity a squared plus ab plus b squared is equal to a cubed minus b cubed. As we can see, one special thing about this is that the sign of the binomial part is the opposite of the sign of the trinomial part. And this sign is similar to the resulting product. 
this goes the same for the other case. Since this is negative, then this becomes positive. And this is also negative. This is the thing you need to remember. If this is positive, then the sign of AB becomes negative and the result is positive. If this is negative, the sign of AB is positive and our result has a negative sign. Now let us try some examples related to this special product. So here is our first problem for this sum and difference of two cubes. So we have quantity p plus 7 multiplied with quantity p squared minus 7p plus 49. We recall that this is sum of two cubes and we have the first term as p and the second term as 7. We can observe this even further when we have p squared minus 7 times p plus 7 squared. This means that we will apply the sum of two cubes to easily simplify this expression. So we have p and 7 as our a and b. So we have a cube plus b cube. Our a cube is p cube plus our b cube is 7 cube. Then we have p cube plus 7 cube. We simplify the 7 cube. So we have 343. And this is the answer for our first expression. Now, we have another problem. We, we need to simplify this expression, which is quantity a minus 3 multiplied by quantity a squared plus 3a plus 9. As we can see, we can express this as a squared plus 3 times a plus 3 squared. And this motivates us to use difference of two cubes. Our a here, or the first term, would be a, so the cube must be a cube. Then, the second term is 3. So we have minus 3 cube as our second term. This gives us a cube. Minus 3 cube is 3 times 3 times 3, which we get 27. So our answer for this problem is a cube minus 27. Another thing that we can utilize this special product on is, of course, arithmetic for the third time. And this time, it seems like a little bit harder than the first two arithmetic problems that we have discussed earlier. But this still resembles our sum in difference of two cubes. But in what sense? First, we can express 31 as 30 plus 1. And 871 is... 870 plus 1 and 870 can be expressed as 900 minus 30. And this means that 871 is 900 minus 30 plus 1. This multiplication problem becomes quantity 30 plus 1 multiplied by 900 is 30 squared as we know it. So we have 30 squared minus 30 plus 1. And this form is our motivation to use the sum of two cubes. So our first term is 30 
So all we have to do is to cube 30. 30 cube. And the second is 1. So we add 1 cube. This gives us 30 cube is 27,000 plus 1 cube, which is 1, which gives us 27,001. It's easier than multiplying it directly since we can assure that we are multiplying multiples of 10, which is more fundamental than multiplying any other set of digits directly. And this is our answer for this problem, 27,001. Now, for our final special product, we have cube of a binomial. So we have a plus b cube equals a cube plus 3a squared b plus 3a b squared plus b cube. Furthermore, we have quantity a minus b cube equals a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cube. The difference between these two is that the signs of each binomial is the sign of b cube and the second term 3a squared b. So remember, the sign between A and B is the sign of this term and this term. So if this is positive, then these terms are positive. And if it is negative, these terms are negative. So 3A squared B, B cubed. These are the two terms you need to remember that changes sign. Now let us try some examples regarding the cube of a binomial. This is a little bit harder than square of a binomial since we're dealing with only three terms. While here, we deal with four terms. And we need to remember that one, three, three, one. That is the thing you need to remember. 1, 3, 3, 1, and the second term and the last term can change signs depending on the sign of this binomial. Now, let us try example problems. Now, we are tasked to expand quantity r plus 2 cubed. We let a equals r and b equals 2, and we now have quantity a plus b cubed equals 1, 3, 3, 1, remember? And since this is positive, these are positives as well. So we have a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Then, we substitute a and b. So we have r cubed plus 3r squared times 2 plus 3r, two, then 2 squared plus 2 cubed. Just make it even clearer. 2 squared. Now, we will simplify the constant. So we have r cubed plus 3 times 2, 6. r squared plus 3 times 2 squared, which is 2 times 2. 3 times 2 times 2 is 12, r. Then this one is 2 times 2 times 2, which is plus 8. And this is our expansion for quantity r plus 2 cubed. Now, let us try another expansion problem, but this time we're going over the difference case. So 
we have we let a equals c and b equals four. So expanding it, we have quantity a minus b cube equals one three three one. But this time it is negative, so negative negative three. The first three is negative, and then the last one is negative as well. So we have a cube minus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared minus b cube. And then we substitute a and b. So we have z cube minus 3z squared times 4 plus 3z 4 squared minus 4 cubed. And then we have z cubed minus 3 times 4, which is 12. z squared plus 3 times 4 times 4 is 48. z minus 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, 64. And this is the expansion for quantity z minus 4 cubed. Now, for our arithmetic application of this problem, we have 61 cubed. How does cube of a binomial help? So we have 61 cubed, and we can express it as quantity 60 plus 1 cubed. And now, recalling the cube of a binomial, we know that quantity a plus b cubed equals a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. We let a equals 60 and b equals 1. So we have 60 cubed plus 3 times 60 squared times 1 plus 3 times 60 times 1 squared plus 1 cubed. And now, we will simplify each term. 60 cubed is 60 times 60 times 60. Copy the three trailing zeros. 0, 0, 0. So, and we have 6 times 6 times 6, 216. So 216,000. Then 3 times 60 times 60. So we have two zeros, two trailing zeros. Then 6 times 6 times 3 is 108, 10,800. Then 3 times 60 times 1 squared is just 180. And one cube is one. Simplifying this, we get 226,981. And this is our 61 cube in simplest form. That is it for today's video, Kamatverse. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to our official YouTube channel and follow our social media accounts whose links are shown here. That is it, guys. And remember that mathematics is incomplete without you and chase your greatest moonbeams. Till next time. Also, I would like to give shoutouts to these people. Kenneth James Pia, Justin Magdato, Liv Licardo, and Paul Robert Adel. John Philip Costo, and James Roldan Pida. Thank you guys for supporting this channel and see you next time only here at Sedis Mat.